might be a really good idea for you. Okay, well, that will be discussed in December, and we'll talk about how we're going to handle that. And I might add that we'd love to have any of you as Plug in America members, too, because we are really uh, the activist arm for this great cause that we all feel so passionately about. So you're welcome. We'd love to, to uh, welcome you into our fold, too. We're all connected. Would you like to drive this car? <laughs> oh, it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a kind of like a model a. small, it's, it's really a slow experience. I just kind of limp along on the freeway. <laughs> and it's quite a hint. How is it to, how is it to sit in it? Is it, uh, is it, is it as good as the EV1? Oh, well, you know, it's a little lower than the EV1. Uh -huh. Yeah, I heard Bravis is making a sound system for the internet. I think it's a good thing to do if someone wants to buy it and make it available. There's the Tesla, a real Tesla, and it really works. Only thing has to be done is to make them. So you made it back, wow, successfully. Yes. How many tickets so far? How do you get out? I've been a practice. So far, none, but I'm anticipating it. I think it's great for the cause. <laughs> it's worth it, huh? And I always talk about the freeway chase at 11. You just wait. Yeah, you know, it's it's hard to get in it if you have the if you have the top on. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> but you know, it's worth it once you get inside. It's like an EV1. So this is a series hybrid. <laughs> Uh, a sprinter plug-in technology and it's plugged in <laughs> but if you look underneath it <laughs> they don't want you to see it you know but there's the tailpipe it's hidden so there it is you know once there were a bunch of ED1s and RAVs here the Tesla's for sale and, and being delivered and there'll be more of these next month too big videos <laughs> I'll ride in the trunk. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, there is a tiny trunk. Here's the. The in here, there's a trunk about this big. Thank you. That noise is the cooling system, presumably. We're uh, going for a ride in a uh, brand new Tesla with Linda Nichols. Hi. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Tessie the Tesla. Uh, she and I are just getting appointed. Got her three days ago. And so far, to Sam impressed is an understatement. Uh, the thing just has instant torque. It's like turning on a light. And it's a beautifully designed car. The fit and finish is very nice. The paint's incredible. It's pretty. Wow. <laughs> that was impressive, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> the car can take all the credit. I just have a heavy foot. That... There was a, a lot of force on the back of my neck. I think that's about the fastest I've ever accelerated outside of a motorcycle. <laughs> it's, or a jet. It is kind of jet-like, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. It kind of sounds like a jet or you something. You know, it has that. They say it kind of sounds like what the EV1 used to sound like. <laughs> we went from zero to 50 there, and she took, it off, took her foot off briefly. But we were zero to 50 in just, just a... You just never know if a car might be coming around the corner, so I'm cautious. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm 
hurts. I'm serious. The back of my neck is <laughs> just. I should warn yeah, people at Whiplash. It's great. No, no, no. It's not that. It was fun. <laughs> like a rocket, huh? And oh, it's it's really fast. <laughs> What Chris Payne said was, he's glad he bought the car two years ago, because if he had left it in his IRA, he wouldn't have the money. It's traffic jam. That's okay, I'm happy to be here. I've been sitting in the Tesla. It's a, it's a great place to sit. It's a good sitting car, right? See, there you go. It is going about as fast as yeah. the Volt prototype. I was going to say, yeah, the, the Chevy Volt. Should we push it up the hill? That is a little faster then. That's uphill too. Have you gotten a ticket yet? No, but I figure it's only a matter of time. Cost of doing business, I suppose, huh? You know, it's cost of doing business. I think it's good for the cost too. Maybe the police wow, officer won't really, nice. really believe that it's electric. So, <laughs> you know what I could say? I could say, Officer, now you know I wasn't this going to This is my fast. little golf cart. This is electric. What are you thinking? Yeah. I can go very fast. <laughs> wow, what a pleasurable experience. It just feels like you're floating and flying, actually. You know, even when you don't have the acceleration, you know, just the idea that you can do it if you want to. I want to give Greg hands. Oh, he'll be sad because it was just like the EV1. They did 49. All right, here comes Greg Hansen back in. You get yours tomorrow, don't you? They maybe, Next week. They're supposed to be putting it together today or tomorrow. Or today or. I don't think they work on Sundays. It's scheduled to be final assembly today. Pretty soon. I suppose yeah. to spend this time out here, actually. We're hoping by the end of the week we'll have it in our hands if there aren't any problems. Does this make you nostalgic for electric cars, Greg? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for an electric car that can perform. Yes. And a, even EV1 performance is uh, But this is spectacular. Yeah, of course. That, you know, that was my problem with the RAV. It, just, it didn't excite me. I know. But you have it's your a utility car. driver here. It's a utility car, you know. Yeah. I agree with you. But still, you know, it's it's all we have right now is the round. Well, there's plenty of market for that. We need utility. Plenty of market for this. Plenty of market for any of them. 